Jocko. The son of a lion. Offspring of Abalanze, the great ruler of Ibaku land. Fear far and near. Even the elephants part ways when they sense your presence. Move. Yes, this spirit. Dare to speak evil of me. He's not. He's not. My king, the people are livid. They demand for your head. Did you say my head? Your Highness, this is a serious matter. It's nothing to laugh about. My king, you have to listen to our voice, your cabinet members. For we speak the mind of the people. You have gone too far this time. Shut up! How dare you talk to me in that manner? Have you forgotten that you are in the presence of your king? My king, forgive our boldness. But you have left us with no other choice. Yes, your majesty. We have to speak up before the people prevail against the reign. No one will ever challenge my throne. Nobody. I am Njoko, the son of Abalanze. Nobody can. Or it will challenge my authority. But your highness. Please be quiet. I don't want to speak any further on this issue. And if you don't have anything meaningful to say to me, I will appreciate the broadcast at this place. Get you? Your Highness, we, we are busy in the kitchen. Her Highness, you mean what? Uh, Her Highness asked us to help her with the preparation in the kitchen. What did I hear you say? Your, your what? Highness. If, if you address her by that name again. <laughs> You did, Your Highness. But the, Her Highness stopped us from doing your bidding. She what? Yes, she asked us to prepare her meal instead. No! Not today! Not again! That good for nothing has to realize her place in this house. I must make sure I put her in her place. What nonsense! And the both of you, I am coming back for you. Why? Oh, so you can see the outfit I'm putting on today and copy it? You must be very stupid if you think that I will copy your low budget outfit. So glad you lack elegance and style. <laughs> Whatever. Look, Silver, it's high time you stop undermining me in this palace. 
I can do as I please. Not you or anyone can do anything about it. So, I sent my maidens to be in charge of my kitchen and you stopped them. Why? I don't think I owe you any explanation. Really? Look, Silva, on a very good day, I will make you eat your words. Let that day come. If you're done ranting, you can take a walk. Mark my words. You will eat your words. Yes, the king sent for me. Papa, I hope you're not going to support him. For we all know he's an arrogant judge. Don't speak such evil words. I didn't train you up like this. Papa, you know I speak the truth. I'm nothing but the truth. Njoku is a tyrant. One that should not allow to stay on the surface of this earth. Hey, Santo. Such harsh words for your king? Your king, king of this land? No. Don't forget that words have ears. And when bad people hear what you say, to put you in trouble. Papa, you are part of it with me that I am not scared of anyone. I am not. Njoku and his misfits are no match. They are not. What? I'm not going to stay here again. You speak and it comes to pass. You are my father's friend and a friend to be thrown. What are the gods say? You are the son of the lion. You are the one who wants Cut to the fight. chase, Ago, and tell me what I want to hear. Patience, my king. The gods are yet to speak. Then they say patience. Have I not been patient enough? I have been patient for so long. When would the gods give me what I'm asking? My king. Oh, no, don't, don't dissuade me, Ago. Don't. Because I am going to seek for solution. Should the gods continue to keep mute on this? Joko, do not question the gods. Ago, I am in Joko, the son of Abalanze. I fear no one. Food. I want to go to the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, when you get to the market, don't forget to buy beans. I'm tired of eating all these long blonde things, all these rice. Right? So, <laughs> buy beans, beans. You mean beans have what I want? Okay, yeah? Papa. I will Please. Mm -hmm. Let me get you one. Okay. One day we will wake up to find out that there is no risk over our May the gods forbid. How can you say that? So what do you expect? Huh. We have a tyrant as king. I just hope one day Njoku will be made to pay for all his evil deeds. I want to teach him a lesson he will never forget. How can I become very? Each time I remember all his evil deeds, my blood boils. It boils. 
It's okay. Don't let the joke trouble you. Let's go. Hey, woman. How many times have I warned you not to step your feet on this land? How many times? My king, I'm sorry. This is the only piece of land my husband left for her and my children. Will you shut up? I'm sorry, my You are stupid. I'm sorry. You are stupid. Whose order are you supposed to take? That of your husband or your king's order? My king's orders. I'm sorry, my king. No, 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 you don't have to be sorry. That's no point. By the time I finish with you, you have reasons to be sorry. Kala, yes, your highness. Take her to the car. Take her to the car. Let boot. her Please, go. My king, my king. Please. I said you should let her go, I say. Who are you? And what gave it gods to stand before your king and talk in such manner? Who or what I am is not important. But I would not stand here and watch you humiliate this woman. Really? I see we have a hero wannabe. Oh, yes. But you know what? Today is your lucky day. Because I don't have your time. And if I were you, I will run as fast as my leg could carry me out of this place now. I will not step an inch until you step this woman. Really? Let's leave me. I am not going anywhere. Well, that's fine. I will set her free. Just like you demanded. But you know what? You will take her prison. Kala! Yes, your highness. Take this girl. Put her in the boot. <laughs> Shut up! Come on. Go, move! Oh yeah, run, run! Run! <laughs> My God. Someone that is running. I soaked her. Soaked her? What about her? But the king took her against her will. Go to Fala. What does that mean? On my phone back from the market, we saw Joku, the king. He was abusing a woman and Soto tried to help her. <laughs> and then what happened? Speak up. The, the king got angry and took Tomsa instead. Papa, you have to help her. Papa, I'm scared you'll be, you'll be punishing her. Papa, please. Don't worry. <laughs> I will go and fetch some to back from the palace. My daughter, your highness. Your daughter? Yes. The one you hold captive is the one that is after my heart. That's not possible. It is possible, my king. Her name is Soto, my only child. How do I know you have a daughter? Oh. Well, that's by the way. Uh, whether she's your daughter or not, it's immaterial. Because she challenged me and she shall be punished. My king, I came here to plead on her behalf. 
I know that what she did on that day was a great mistake. You're challenging you on that day. It is punishable by my law, Your Highness. I beg of you, please, forgive her. At least for the sake of the friendship I maintain with your late father. I beg of you, forgive her. Come with me. And why should I? The king demands your presence. And if I refuse? Your father is here. My father. You better come with me before the king changes his mind. Thank you. But I should leave my presence immediately before I change my mind. Father. Save everybody. You must understand that. You can't carry the weight of the whole world on your shoulders. I cannot just put my arms like everyone else. So do I know. But you must understand that you are my only child. And I cannot bear to see anything happen to you. Nothing will happen to me. Nothing. I hope so. I really hope so. Take everything to heart. Your Highness, you should know that we have your interest at heart. And that's of the people. Ignatius, I don't understand what you're saying. I think what Ignatius is trying to say is that we all are worried. Yes, Your Highness. We are worried because it's been long since he's got married to your second wife. We are yet to hear the cry of a baby in this palace. Your, your Highness, the throne needs some hair. See, oh, Your Highness, you don't, you don't see what you just said. Oh, I didn't say anything. Cowards! Cowards! Don't tell me that you people have been discussing this behind me. Not at all. It's just that... It's just that you will never bring this issue up again. Never! Have I made myself clear? Are we clear, cowards? Uh, yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Talk about it. It was a terrible sight. Just see. Just see. Next time you get to know your business. 
since that on June. Mark my notes. Yeah, so here like this. No, even if you don't put it, at least put your phone. He was agitated by the whole thing. But for how long? How long do we keep letting Job get away with all he does? Because we fight for him, so let him go. I just go to Husband. Thank God you're back. Thank you. Sylvia, what is it? Um, my king, I've been meaning to talk to you. Sylvia, you see, I just came back now and I'm so tired. So whatever it is you want to tell me, it can't wait, okay? No, my lord. I, I, it's very, very urgent and I don't get to see you as much as I like. Okay, my love, I have a wonderful plan. Okay. Okay. What is it? I was thinking, no, we need to go on a nice vacation, maybe to the UK or the Bahamas. Really? Yes. For doing what? Just for a vacation. We're we'll going to the UK and Bahamas, give me a sum. But my husband, I'm not the God that gives children. Beautiful. So go look for the God that gives children and ask them, your husband needs an heir. When you get a son for me, we can talk about Bahamas and UK. But my love... Did they tell you that people go to Bahamas and UK with rotten and decayed wombs? Get out. Get out of this place. My husband, this is not fair. It's not fair at all. Isn't it funny? You act 
like you are all the matters. But in reality, you are nothing. Look, Chiamaka, I don't have time to battle words with you. I have way more important things to do. Oh! To dream of your imaginary trip to Bahamas. <laughs> I don't understand. What, what, what do you oh, how I find out. Let's just say the walls have ears. Still here. You want to take our husband away. Oh no. Sylvia. Why? It's our husband, not your husband. He <laughs> paid them. <laughs> Oh my god! You want to travel to Bahamas? Bahamas! Oh my god! What's good in your life? Ignatius, I am so confused right now. Did you just hear what Agu said? That the gods will speak at the right time. When is the right time? Is it when we have joined our ancestors? Hmm. My brother, it seems like the gods are punishing us for something we do not know. It is unfortunate that we have a tyrant as a king. How I wish it was in the days of his father. You are right. But what can we do? Ever since our late king joined our ancestors, Ibaku kingdom has become shadow of itself. Eh? Why would the God punish us for what we know nothing about? I pray that uh, the gods of our land see us through. That is the only way. You see? Uh, well, let's continue. Because <laughs> for what I'm saying, for what I'm saying. Okay. Ah. As if she holds the world, yet she can't even give the king a head. I pity her with all the money they claim they have. Even men do lives with them. My husband won't be taken from him. Dear, you want to believe what my ears witnessed today? I want to talk now. Tell me what your eyes see on our way today. You know how the queen used to behave now, showing herself around the village. But today we aren't a good day for her. Are you ready to tell me what happened, or should I take my leave? Wait, you saw. Calm down. Do you know your problem? Impatience. You are always impatient. Well, you know the people of Ibak. Don't hate the king's wife. They don't. Why did you say that? They called her Baron. Oh! Chimo. Then what happened? Everything was a shock to me. Nothing happened. Nothing. She didn't utter a word. She kept moving. Ha! Huh. That's strange, you. You mean she just left without uttering any word? Wonder shall never end. <sighs> Let's keep going. Okay. 
Let me continue to do what I'm doing. What is it? What? What a thing. Mm -hmm. It's been a while you last visited my chambers. Of what need is it for me to visit chambers when you cannot get pregnant? My king, you hurt me with your words. I'm still your wife. If you don't want to be hurt by my words, leave here immediately and return to your chamber. But my king. Hey. Get out. Look. Have the gods revealed to you? Because I'm running out of patience. Your Highness, uh, great son of the Lion of Ibarco, have the gods ever forsaken you? Why are you losing faith in them so soon? Did you say so soon? Has it not been long enough? I mean, how long do I need to wait to prove my loyalty to the gods? The gods will still speak. I know, I can feel it. All you need to do is exercise more patience. The gods are waiting for the throne to slip off my grip before they will talk to me. I'm asking you how to answer me. Your Highness, I'm afraid. This is one question I may not be able to answer. <laughs> And I still have to get cassava for my mother. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Okay? 
Uh, wait, we are going to have an accident and we are too many. Kunta, are you going with us? Kunta! Uh, what were you saying? What are you thinking? Something. What was she saying? I've been observing you lately and you seem very distracted. Please tell me, what is it? Nothing. I was just thinking of what to prepare for my father. Mm -hmm. So, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> what else would I be thinking? Okay. And then, please, let me you say you are sure somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, you cannot do that. Sumto, I can no longer keep this to myself. Listen, I was with the king earlier. And it appears he has lost faith in the gods. But father... I cannot keep this to myself, my daughter. We just have to reveal it to him. The prophecy cannot be averted. So father... You want to send your only daughter into the lion's den? If it is the wish of the gods. We have to reveal to the king that you, Sonto, will be the one to save the royal household. No father, I cannot accept it. I do not want to marry in Joko. Father, we can offer sacrifices to the gods. Oh no, Tonto. You know it is impossible. You know it. Father, why me? Why me? My daughter, we do not know the ways of the gods. It is the instruction, then we have to obey it. And I am scared. I'm scared. I do not want to marry in Joko. My daughter, it is the will of the gods. <laughs> The land is in turmoil. The rivers have dried up. <laughs> yes, your, your Highness. In the past few days, all our crops have died. Uh, your, your Majesty, uh, they are not far from the truth. You have to do something. Uh, our people now live in fear. That's a good I have heard what you said. And I assure you that I, Njoku, your king, the great son of Abalanza, will not sit behind it and watch my kingdom go into obscurity. Yeah. I've spoken well, my king. Uh, your Highness, uh, what then is the solution? Kala. Yes, Your Highness. Send one of the guards to fetch me the seer immediately. <laughs> Yeah, for the seer. Yeah. Greetings, great seer of Ibaku Kingdom. The king requests for your presence at once. Very well then. I'll be with him shortly. Here we're then.
father. Sunto, it is time. Even the gods are getting angry. But father, it is... Listen, I have to reveal his prophecy to his people. That's the only way that all the calamities that will befall the back people will be averted. Father, please, do not let me do this. I beg of you. Forgive me, my child. Forgive me. Greetings, elders of the Mako Kingdom. I have summoned you here to let you know that I can no longer wait for the gods. Your Highness, you don't need to wait any longer. Good. Speak to me. It shall come to pass that the one who shall bear the heir to the throne shall also cleanse the land of all its evil. That is the prophecy. Who has such power? Uh, uh, yes, Abu. Who is she? Is she a daughter of the soil? Speak, Sia. The king is listening. The one whom the gods have chosen is my daughter, Sumtuchu. Surprise seeing you in my house. The last time I saw you here, you were very young. Where is your daughter? She's inside. Fetch her immediately. Please take a seat. I have not come here for hospitality. It's okay. Let me fetch her. Fine. So, so. Prepare yourself for your getting married to the king as soon as possible. And what makes you think I would marry a man like you? Did you just talk back to me? Some talk. Ma, please. Let me speak my mind. Who do you even think you are? <laughs> Doc, let me ask you. Do you think if you ask me to jump and I'll ask you how high? Do you? Do you think I want to take another wife? And even if I wanted to, what is giving you the impression that I will come for a low lifer like you? Of course, we're the same page. Nevertheless, I'm just doing this for my kingdom. You don't have a choice. It is the prophecy. I do not care about the prophecy.
have a word with you. What is it? Um, is there any truth in the rumor going around? What rumor are you talking about? That you are to marry another? Yes. Another that will give me an heir coming to the prophecy. But your highness, you will obviously not take her as your wife, right? Of course I am going to take her as a wife. But why? <laughs> But your highness, my husband. Are we are we beautiful? <laughs> It's true. Yes, it's true. Wait, a Wait. Are you going to marry him? Ebiri, I do not want to marry him. Now what am I going to do? It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Look, the gods will not lead you astray. Okay? Just I don't know. Ebiri, I'm so confused. The people of Iba who meet me. Okay. I know you will do the right thing. Okay? Just listen to your heart. Why are you making things so difficult for yourself again? Father, this isn't an easy decision for me. I am finding it so hard to accept my fate. Listen, my daughter. Realize that I am your father. And I will not throw you into the lion's den intentionally. I know. You know. So come off it. Huh? Come off it. You can continue like this. You get up and do something else. Would you not be troubled? I mean, who who in our right senses would want to get married to that tyrant of the king? <laughs> so she has to marry the king here. Because he has been ordained by the gods and there's nothing no one can do about it. I don't know why you he has been ordained by the gods and, and not, there's nothing no one can do about it. I mean no one. I know. But whatever her decision is, we just have to support her. Yes, I love my sister. No way.
reason to marry the king. I never asked him about it. But it's your right to refuse the union. And what problem do you have with getting married to the king? It is for your own good. And I'm sure you are no stranger to the king's will. How can a beautiful girl like you subject yourself to such? Subject yourself? Can you both be married? Are you questioning us? No. I mean, how can I pretend the things of your back? I can see you're trying to make a mockery of us. But let me warn you. Be ready to dance to any tune of music that comes to you. Oh, yeah. For he who fetches an ant infested firewood should expect the lizard for his city. Father, after much consideration, I have decided to marry my daughter. Huh? The gods be praised. My daughter, you have done a very wise thing. <laughs> I will get words across to the king. Papa, I want you to know that I am doing this because of you and for the people of his dark kingdom. It's good enough. And for that, God will surely continue to bless you. Yeah? You will enter that royal household and we shall hear the cry of a child, a male child. Okay. <laughs> I hope so, Papa. I will get words across to the king. God forbid. Yeah? <laughs> That's good. I have decided to marry the king. So, so are you sure? Is, is that really what you want? I just have to. The people need me. But what about your happiness? Shouldn't that come first? But it doesn't matter now. What matters is the happiness of our people. So you're, you're saying you're sacrificing your happiness for the people of Ibaku? Yes. Soto, you're an amazing person and I pray to God to bless you. <laughs> Today is indeed a great day in Ibaku land. Your Majesty, you are right. And soon, and here I shall be born. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, pray so. You are welcome once again. Thank you. Never quit! 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 Quit!
I got this no more. <laughs> What is it? I want you to know that I would never love you. I would never belong to you. I'm not asking you to. All I want is for you to do your wifely duty and I'm gone. I hate you. I hate you with all my heart. I hate the fact that you're so arrogant. You don't care about anyone at all. Who cares how you feel about me? I mean, do you think I care about? It's immaterial. I mean, I have a whole lot of things to worry about. That's something that you listen. You have to do your wifely duty. So prepare yourself for that. Maybe you aren't prepared. You need to go clean up or something. So I'll be back. Leave this compound without your maids and your guards. I do not need any maids and guards. I've been walking around this place since I was little. I'm giving you an order. And I hope you get it. You disobeyed my orders. Many people who disobeyed me, I mean, who did what you are doing now, have been punished. You can punish me if you want, but I can never be bullied into such order. You are testing my patience, woman. I am not afraid of you, and I will never succumb to your whim. So to get into this car now, before I do something, I will regret. I'm sorry, my king, but I want to walk. I think you just have to go back because I know you're not used to trek. You think so? Of course. <laughs> I notice the people of Ibaku land love and respect you so much. 
Well, that's because I am like them. I can relate to them. I can relate too. Oh, yes. Just that when they see me, is it, there's this kind of fright. Like they are scared, like I'm going to swallow them. That's with your emergency. That's exactly what I was telling you. If you want your people to love and respect you, you have to love and respect them as well. <laughs> That's, that sounds very funny. I, Njoku, love and respect my people. Uh, I you will say you don't have all it takes to win a kingdom. And you think you do? To the best of my knowledge, I think I do. If you want me to help you, ask for me and I will help you. Well, I think you don't know what it means to be a king. Well, I'll let that pass. my two eyes when I saw Nchoko and his so-called new wife returning from God to nowhere on foot. You know, what I'm afraid is about to happen. And what could that be? Use your head. She use your head. Can't you see he's about to be wrapped around her fingers? And when that happens, it's over for you and I. No. But we won't let that happen. We, we can't. Of course not. She may have found favor with the gods, but she can never find favor with Njoko. Oh yeah. You said it all. You said it all. I trust you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I am so happy for you. You look so good. Ebe, can you stop? You're making me blush. Huh? You should do. You should blush. Who wouldn't blush? Living in this big palace, sleeping here, and waking up. Ebe, you will not kill me. Mm -mm. Uh -uh, it's okay. You won't die. But it's okay. Do you need more meat? What do you mean to say? Like, if you need more meat. <laughs> you're serious, baby. What is wrong? Why can you say that? I was, <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. What's serious? This is big. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Very big. My friend, tell me something. The truth. Okay. Is the king treating you fairly? How do you mean? Something you know exactly what I mean. Oh, well, yes. He's treating me fairly. I think if you get to know him like I have, you will know he's a good man. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> ha! Good man. <laughs> I never thought a day like this would come that my friend, Somto, We'll talk something good about Sunjoko. You say he's a good man. Uh, that's because I didn't know him. <laughs> hey. What's going on? Mm -mm, nothing. Something. Could it be that you're in love with the king? What? Like, are you in love with the king? How can you say that? Of course not. You should see your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, arrest my kids. If you just stop this thing, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do you need me? <laughs> I don't need. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no, please join me. Sundu, my lovely wife, please sit and join me at dinner. When I was coming out, a silver collected it from me. And that was the last happening in the house. How dare you? No one regard me in this house anymore. Everyone disrespects me. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Please forgive me. She made me give it to her. Please, I'm sorry. You are very stupid. <laughs> Sylvia, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? I can see you are still up with your own, own artist. What is this? I sent my maid to get me apple. Rather, you took it away from her. Why? <laughs> What's funny? She... Chiamaka. So you came here to fight me over apple? No, I didn't come to fight you. I came to put you in your place. I think you should channel your energy towards Sumto. Because she's gradually... Finding her way into Njoko's heart. Oh no, please, pay me that. Njoko only wants an A from her, nothing else. Nothing else! So you say. But I think otherwise. Whatever. Let me tell you something. If you like your place in this house, we should do something about that girl. I can't sit down and watch her take everything away from us. I can't! I want to go and see my father, so I thought I should tell you. You don't have to take my permission if you want to go see your father. Yeah, or do you want me to accompany you? No, I can go by myself. That's fine, it's okay. Just make sure you go with your maid and your guard. I will. My... Is it 
You see how awesome it is when you do as I say. Well, it's because I think you act nicely. Oh, really? Yes, my husband. You see, it sounds so nice when you call me your husband. <laughs> Not so arrogant, <laughs> jerk. You know, all those things you call me. What's that one you always call me? I can't even remember. That's a matter of fact. That's so nasty. Okay. Excuse me. You quite excuse me. <laughs> Each person should allow his, the other one land. The one that says that he will not land, lets the land be broken. Gods of our land, gods of our ancestors, we come to you for guidance, we come to you for protection. In a place we usually say that anyone looking for my daughter will have the life in a place of a chick. The daughter shall be a chick, she will keep her. And you, who is pursuing her, will look for me. That is the instance. Grandchild does not tell his father. See where we will be the baby from. You prefer grandfather that you tell him, not him telling the grandfather because he doesn't know the result. My ancestors were very social. Protect us. My daughter. Fine. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Father. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Great. You. <laughs> father, you are looking so thin. Are you sure you've been sleeping very well? Well, there hasn't been anybody around to prepare very good meals for me after I left. <laughs> Sorry about that. Father. I should be coming out from school for you. Ah, no, you can't do that now. You are someone's wife, and I'm sure you know I can uh, take care of myself. <laughs> I know, Father. I was just teasing you. <laughs> it's okay. Well, tell me, my daughter, how are you? I hope your husband is treating you well. <laughs> yes, Father. My husband treats me well. Ah, that's the kind of thing I want to hear. Eh? May the gods continue to bless you. He say. May the gods <laughs> continue to bless your household. He say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Father, let me go inside and make something for you. You don't have to bother yourself. I was only teasing you. I can't take care of myself. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're glad. All right. Good. So tell me exactly what happened. Thank you very much, Your Highness, for this opportunity. This man here borrowed money from me, and he promised to pay me back in two weeks' time. But your highness, this is more than two months. I didn't hear from him. Is he speaking the truth? Your highness, it is true. But I've been pleading with him to give me more time. My, my wife has been sick, and things have not been easy for us, your highness. Your highness, he's not saying the truth. This man here has a very big land in the outskirts of Ibaku. Yes. You are trying to let him on. Yes, that land, Your Highness. He has taken over my land and he's making life miserable for us, Your Highness. We have not been able to make ends meet. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Highness. But he promised me that. How dare you lay claims on his land? On whose authority do you do that? Are you not the ruler of the back land? No, Your Highness. But he... You defile me by taking laws into your hands. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Please forgive me. It won't happen again. But if you leave, I will communicate my decision to you later. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you.
<laughs> Did you both notice the change in the queen? In fact, I am surprised. <laughs> I have never ever in my life seen him or heard him speak like that. In fact, unlike him, he would have seized that one for himself. But today, he did the unimaginable. Imagine the king listening and deliberating. Eh? Something that has never happened before. You, you can say that again. <laughs> I am baffled. Hey! Who John. knows? Maybe we all are still dreaming. In fact, if it is a dream, I would rather go back and sleep again. In fact, I don't want to wake up. Eh? Let it be a dream. I don't want to wake up again. I'll go back and sleep. Yes, I'll go back and sleep. <laughs> You seem troubled, Your Highness. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is all right. It's just that there's this delicate kiss before me. If it were before, I would have just taken it so that I know. And now, I don't just want to take a decision. I want to give you the fair hearing. Ever since you came into my life, I see things differently. Tell me what troubles you. Who knows? We can solve it together.
So you mean you want to fulfill this award? Okay. After ensuring that you complete your mission of getting it. So that's the idea, Father. Ah, Come and Come and sit down. Okay. Come and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wonderful. <laughs> Father, how well do you know my husband? What kind of question is that? I mean, what else do you want to know about him that you don't know already? Do you know him to be an emotional person? Well, um, Joko, right from when he was young, I knew him as a very boisterous and young man full of life. Okay. But uh, after the death of his father, he changed. He now became this hard and bitter king that we see today. So, he was traumatized by his father's death? Well, I think so. I can give you to that. I see. Time you have to be more careful, okay? Before you cross the road, you look left, right, and left again before you cross. Get out of your dumb head. Straight to my house and lock her in my cage. Like you did to me. Because you are very stubborn. I mean, you stood up to me, I had to teach you a lesson. Really? Yes. Oh, 
minus. Did you see what she just did? Yes. This girl is a witch. That's it. Exactly. She's a witch. Nobody can tell me otherwise. This girl is a witch. And she needs to leave this house. Yes. Sylvia is right. You shut up, both of you. Your Highness, please, what is going on here? Adam, you see your daughter the witch? But I will not say a word. They should accuse me if they want to. So, Your Highness, please, tell me exactly what happened. I'll tell you. This witch standing here tried to kill the king. That's a lie. Shut up. We all saw what happened. Elders of our land. This witch here came into this palace to take my husband away from us. She has to leave this palace because she does not belong here. Yes. You lie, you lie Sylvia. If anyone belongs here, then it's I. For I am the one they got recognized. I promise I will be your friend forever. So, if anyone has the right to stay in this palace, it's me. Because Njoko and I were bound together by the gods long ago. Why didn't you tell me? Why should I? You promised never to forget me. Yes, you do. When I lost my father, I wanted to forget about everything. That includes me. You wouldn't understand. I was hurt. I had no father, no mother. I hated the fact that I was alone. So, I decided to block everything. Besides, I was young. I was young too. But I never forgot about you. I waited for 20 years. Only for you to return already married. I decided not to intrude. But to hit you from afar. Really? Is that why you wanted to poison me? For my past mistake? You really believe that I, Sonu Tochuku, would want to kill anyone? You have not answered my question. Silence that witch in the circle. Oh, yes! <laughs> but are you sure Ujoku will send her away after what she will do? Who cares about the tribal relationship? I'm sure he said it. Mm. <laughs> I trust you because you are the master in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Martin, everything you do have to me. You rest yeah. assured. I know. <laughs> wow, so it's like that. So it's I have to tell you the truth, Agon. Is your daughter a witch that is capable of killing me? No, my daughter is not a witch. Well, I would have to talk to my daughter first. Then go ahead and talk with her, but just know that time is ticking. We need 
to tell everyone the truth sometimes. Father, we don't need to tell them the truth. And you know it. Father, how do you think people will react to the truth? You will lose face. I don't care about me. What I care about is your well-being. So do. Father, please. You don't need to tell them. You see, my child, I'm not going to listen to you. Not anymore. We need to tell them the truth and nothing but the truth. As it has been the tradition of Iba. Speak, Ago. Father, do not say a word. I am ready to bear the consequences. I'm sorry, my daughter. But time has come for me to speak the truth to the people. Your Highness, people of Ibak, elders, Sumto here is not a witch. Sumto is a gifted child, blessed by the gods. She has become my eyes. She sees things. She informs me. And then I in turn pass on the message. Sunto did not want me to reveal that she was the one seeing the things for fear that I may lose my position amongst the people. Just of our land, protector of the universe. Why are you silent? Speak to me. Tell me what I need to see and what I need to know. Don't be silent, of course. Out of our land. Don't be silent, please. Speak to me. Tell me what I need to know. Mm -hmm. hey, Sumto. I go back inside the house. When I am done, I will come in. Okay? The king and the son will be here soon. Ah, but how did you know this? I just know. Hurry up, Papa. It is important that you speak to him. Hmm. Papa. What is the matter? Is anything wrong? Papa, the king is going to die. The fiawa. Don't ever say that kind of thing with your mouth. But father. I had a dream. In that dream, I saw the king die. Listen, Sonto. Don't ever allow a third ear hear this. Speak of this to no one. It's okay. Ibako has lost a great man. Could that be? The king is dead. What? <sighs> Everyone is still in shock. <sighs> have 
blessed you with sight. It is clear that I have lost my sight and that you have been given the sight. What does that mean, Papa? What it means is that you are the new seer. You see? You saw something that was going to happen to the king and you told me and it happened. But Papa, I can do other things. Really? Other things like what? I think I have the power to do, to do things. Listen, my daughter Soto, I must protect you now, okay? You are not going to speak to anyone about this. You will keep it to yourself. Okay? Listen to only your father. This is a very big surprise to give your mind. Soto. The king see her. That means... It means I saw our future together. I saw our future. It's a positive thing. Because I know the danger that will come for you. Poisoned my drink. What? What are you talking about? Calm down, Papa. Hey! I still have some herbs inside. I can use them as an antidote. <laughs> Soto, are, are, are you sure you're okay? I mean, don't you think you should tell the king about this? Father, I will. But at the right time, I still have to get some concrete evidence before accusing them. Are you sure you'll be alright? I'm worried. If not, let me go and intervene. No, no, father, you don't need to. I'll handle them. I will expose them when the time comes. Ah. Ah. Let me get the herbs. Oh. Oh. See <laughs> You want to kill my brother, father? That's the only thing. I saw them in your eyes. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, Your Highness. You know I cannot lie to you. You know me. Ah. Thank you. Please, don't say this to anyone. Are you okay? okay? Not. Yes. There are witches here. Then it's Sylvia and Chiamaka. Sylvia. Chiamaka. How could you do a thing like this? I was only jealous of some two. Please forgive me. My husband, please forgive me. It was all Sylvia's idea. She made me join forces with her to hate some two. Please forgive me. It was you. Will you shut up your mouth? Leave my presence. Leave my presence this minute. Please leave my presence. Kala. Bless your highness. Please forgive me. Oh my I am moving out of this place. Move it. Move it. Hey, 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 hey. Drop that stuff. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Come. Move it. Look at it. Look at how they do it. Move. 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 Your, your Majesty, please calm down. Oh. 
I have nothing against you. Really? You mean it? Like, you're forgiving me? Yeah. Mm. Father, I need something with me before that we can have any child. What did you just say? I am pregnant. Do you seem to have an air to be true? Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too. You love me? Yes. I have always loved you ever since I was little. You 
behold the heir to the throne of the people. You may be Yeah. Zonu. Yeah. Omono Zonu.
Bye.